Welcome back to Trust the Rest. Again, my name's Bruce, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the last video of the 3,200, yeah, 3,200 pound bracket class. Now we're going to go on to the 5,000 pound bracket class and see how good Twitchy does. I mean, did I just make a face? Anyway, um, it's a little shorter class, not as many tractors in it. Um, still some good competition. There's uh, an un unexpected winner in the class. Um, it's not the it's not the likely track you'd think tractor that you think would win, uh, and that's what that one to me that's what makes it great is this type of pulling, that type of ladder bracket class, repeating. You know, you don't just get to win once; you gotta win your pair and then you got to move on and win the next pair and move on to the next round and win the next pair and I, I think it's just a great a great way to a great addition to track pulling at least out here in the northwest because they've only been doing it the last few years or so but uh maybe five years but anyway it's i love it even if i don't do good i like that style of pulling so Without further ado, let's start the 5,000 pound ladder bracket class and uh, we'll see you at the end. Turn the gas on. First tractor is getting hooked to the sled. Again, this is 5,000 pound bracket class. Just like you watch, but a little heavier. Ignition, fuel pump. Here we go. Again, these classes are three mile an hour. That's the big. 
big uh, equalizer. You can toot the horn, fall, something fall off the tracker, you can use I would get to move on if I don't mess up. Next pair is an Oliver 770. We'll be up against uh, Massey Harris Super 44, the 44 Special. He's got the same problem, but he's got a lot more power than I do. You breathe on that throttle and you're speeding. got the 18438s on it and the Massey doesn't so the Massey needs to get a healthy uh, 192 to move on.
You need a 204 and a quarter, and you got 206. So the 44 special moves on to the next round. Incredible round. It just proves you don't have to have big tires and big horsepower in these slow classes to be able to move on and compete. I'm not that lucky individual that's got that figured out yet, so let's not talk about me right now. All right, I believe we have... Uh, we'll see who's up next. It's either Farmall H or an Oliver... That's going to be an Oliver 77 wheat All right, and next up is... One so the, the tractor we're about himself. to see next is brand new to our Justin area. He's an Oliver 77. The guy driving, has been driving, he's been our announcer. Um, he goes to several poles around the area. He goes back east and, or to the Midwest and hangs out or pulls back there. Uh, he wanted to be able to pull more often, so he did some horse trading for his 88 Super right row crop and ended up with this uh, 77 Wheatland. Let's see how he does. We got the funky Ford on the sled. Mark at the wheel. This is the gentleman that uh, helps put this pull on. Mark Valentine. Great big six cylinder underneath that hood. Travels around the Midwest and locally to as many poles as he can get to. Tires farmer. So the funky Ford will go 206 feet. He has the 18 438s on. So it'll be a 10 foot deduction for him as he'll be pulling against Alice WD.
angle on the next pair, yes. Because we're pulling against as pairs. He doesn't have a competitor, so he's pulling by himself. So called a test pass. Whatever you want. You've got a farm all, all right, 300 up there. Seven goes, two oh six. Start the first pair. First try. He's got that. easier for us kind of e e evens out the playing field it used to be more so than it is now but uh, anyway we're gonna go on to the next pair I believe which is going to be quite possibly brothers we'll find out
This is brother on brother. Alice WD against the Farmall 350. This might be the championship round. We'll have to wait so I can hear the announcer tell me. Because I've lost track. I've been running back and forth, throwing weight. Get my daughter on the tractor, get her weight, because she'll be the next of us two to be pulling. So I'd like two more classes. But, uh, Alice is ready for her weight. I've been running around, getting whipped and falling behind. All right, let's see what the next step is. Okay, so the Super 77 is in the championship round against the standard Oliver 77. Uh, again, the Super 77 had 205.73. So that standard 77 has got to get like 215. And I, he's gonna have to do some and crazy driving to get there. Pound king of the hill. You guys we'll see how that goes. He's getting building. hooked to the sled like right now, and let's we'll see how he does. Leading this stage for the class, we're gonna start that one very soon. Here comes Justin Lundgren to finish our 5,000 pound bracket class.
27 wins the 5,000 pound bracket class. Congratulations. Uh, next up is we're gonna go to the King of the Hill classes. We've got four of those today. We're gonna start off with the 3,000 pound King of the Hill. Well, what did you guys think? The tractor that won at Oliver Super 77 that looked like it could have just come right out of the field beat everybody. That was, uh, that's what I mean by that's not the tractor I thought was going to win that class. Um, I mean, the whole, the whole, the whole Northwest Fall Nationals, or not the whole, but a lot of the classes, it wasn't the tire, they're the tractors with the biggest engine and the biggest tires in the slow classes, the big classes, of course, uh, or the high speed eight mile. I mean, we don't, go over 12 miles an hour over here and we only have what three four maybe five tractors that'll do 12 miles an hour that aren't uh smokers like you know four nine thousands and four ninety six hundreds and ten sixty sixes and d twenty ones aside from those so uh congratulations colby that was uh that was pretty awesome. So I, I hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh I believe next we're gonna do King of the Hill classes. And uh thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.